chapter 9. <clears throat> Come down here where I'm more comfortable. Never did like pulpits. I don't know why. Nothing wrong with them. Dennis locks it up there. I like it down here. Amen. Um, <clears throat> so I said this morning, if you miss a service, and if you didn't come back tonight, you're going to miss it. Uh, I had no idea Miss Hans was going to do that, but thank you very much for that. What a blessing. Amen. So I appreciate that very much. It was good to hear that piano play. Amen. And uh, uh, it truly was a blessing. Thank you very much. Um, but that's not what I meant <laughs> this morning when I said you're going to miss something, so that's still to come. So, uh, but we'll get into that here in just a minute. A uh, lot going on. Uh, still working out little kinks here and there on some things, but uh, praise the Lord for what God's doing. Amen. And uh, so we're actually getting a lot of really good feedback on our YouTube channel. And uh, so now weekly, there's messages and, and from John Pope and uh, Dr. House. Dad will be on here in the next week or so, and now we're starting to have the morning and evening messages are being posted on there. And uh, so we're actually starting to get a lot of good feedback off that, and that's a really neat thing. And the neat thing about that is, is now we are officially taking the gospel around the world. Amen. So somebody can click on in any country in the world and listen to a message that's been preached here, and that is really kind of a neat thing. It's really kind of a scary thing too, but it's really a neat thing, and uh, so really very excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so just be in prayer for the days to come, days ahead. What a great time of year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, looking forward to everything that we're doing. And so I'm glad you're here. So let's get into this this evening. Into this plague, the next plague here on our list in Exodus chapter 9, verse 13. Exodus chapter 9, verse 13. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, God of the Hebrews, O oh, let my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all my plagues. Now watch, look at verse 14. Because this is kind of the basis of the message tonight. I will, I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine hearts and upon thy servants upon thy people that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth for now I will stretch out my hand that I may smite thee and thy people with the pestilence and thou shalt be cut off from the earth and in, er and in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth as yet exaltest thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as hath not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now, and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. That's some kind of a hail storm. Amen. Verse 20. And he that feared the word of the Lord came among the servants of Pharaoh, made his servants and his cattle flee into the house. Just take, there's some Egyptians that have kind of gotten the picture now. Yep. Yep. They're, they're kind of going, whoa, wait, we've done been through this. So they went out and got their cows. Amen? Put them in the house. Verse 21, and, and he that regarded not the word of the Lord left his servants in his cattle in the field. The Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, upon man, upon beast, upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven. And here it comes. And the Lord sent thunder and hail and the fire ran along the ground. That's lightning. And the Lord rained hell upon the land of Egypt. Heavenly Father, God, we love you tonight. Thank you for all that you do for us. And the Lord, I need you this evening. Help me, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Speak through me. <clears throat> Use me as only you can. 
Lord, now give me the courage to preach lovingly and yet boldly even this evening. Lord, I ask all these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. Interesting thing here in verse 14 when it says, For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine heart. Now, previous to this plague and the upcoming plagues, they have all been physical. The, the lights, the boils and such. They, they've been, they, they have affected the outer flesh. But now God says, I'm going to mess with your head. You go with me? You ever had anybody mess with your head? God I do. <laughs> God said, I'm going to... I'm going to mess with your heart. The idea of heart is the inner being, the inner being, the soul, your mind. Now, the, the plagues that are now to come that, that we're going to see, God says, so you, I didn't get your attention through illness, through the waters turning to blood and, and all these other things, but now if I, if I couldn't get your attention by the outward body now the plagues that are going to come are going to mess with your inner being now i don't know i don't think you're still getting it what god says you're not going to listen to me so i'm going to make you go nuts i'm going to mess with your head i'm going to mess with the, your the psychological balance of who you are and now we're going to see some coming plagues. In the weeks to come, you're going to see extreme darkness, which is really weird. I don't know if you've ever, you may have been in underground caverns when they turn out the lights. Yeah. yeah. That's eerie. It really is. By the way, hell's darker than that. That's right. It's free. But we, we see that he says, I'm now going to plague or put plagues upon thy heart. So the plagues that what you're going to experience, Pharaoh, in the upcoming days is going to be more than just physical. And this first plague, as it comes down, the Bible says, I'm going to rain hailstones. It is going to be a hailstorm. Yeah. Hell, the size that when it hits a person, will kill them. Mm -hmm. When it hits cattle, it's going to kill them. People are going to die in this hailstorm. And it's going to be a hailstorm as such that there's going to be thunder and there's going to be lightning. The, 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 the description is fire upon the ground. It's going to be a thunderstorm with lightning and hailstorms. We live in Texas. We've been there. Not quite like this, but we've been there. Yeah. Uh, lightning would, would run across the ground. So uh, the idea here is that the, the thunder is going to boom. And I read one commentator, could be wrong, I'm not sure, they're not always right, but said that in certain parts of the country and at this period in time, thunder of that sort would not have been heard, which meant to a lot of the Egyptians it would have been a new sound. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you've never heard thunder and lightnings running across the ground, and hailstones the size of bowling balls are falling down out of the sky. And you don't know what that is? It's going to mess with your head a little bit. So as we've been looking at this, in this study, if you go through the plagues, we've also learned that each plague that God allows or brings on the Egyptians is a direct contrast or a direct uh, attack, if you will, to an Egyptian deity, goddess, or god. Yeah. And so, uh, again, I've got to give you a little history on this. Uh, the, the goddess that we would be talking about is called Nut. It's actually spelled Nut, which is very N-U-T, but it's Nut. And she is, ironically, the Egyptian goddess of the sky. The stars. Now, it's interesting because she is uh, 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 represented as kind of a dark-skinned woman. And uh, uh, she's known for uh, uh, 
pointing out, if you will, the cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, and how she stands. Uh, she has a lot to do uh, with the lunar uh, uh, moon and the stars and uh, has a lot to do with, she's again a goddess, she, uh, uh, purity, everything that's good in the universe, and so on and so forth. And so when the Egyptians would get up and look at the stars, it would be, oh, oh you're so beautiful, and the beauty of the stars. Well, how could the goddess Newt bring hell, fire, brimstone, not brimstone, but hailstones, yeah. now coming down? Because Newt does not control the atmosphere. Amen. That's right. And so I'm reading this, and again, I'm thinking, Lord, how in the world do you get a message out of thunder, lightning, and hail? Mm -hmm. Ironically enough, if you do a little word study in Scripture, uh, symbolism or symbolicness, thunder, lightning, and hail are all God aspects of God's authority and power. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's really interesting. So I thought we'd just take these one by one tonight. We're not going to keep you very long, but let's, let's begin to look at these a little bit. The first one we see uh, that's mentioned here, of course, it is a plague of hell, but it's also mentioned thunder. The interesting thing about thunder, uh, in, in the book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 16, it says that it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount. And the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud, so that all the people that were in the camp trembled. And that's this part of the story where we see uh, Moses goes up into the mountain and has this conversation with God, and God responds with thunder. Yeah. Yeah. In the book of Job, verse thir uh, chapter 37, verse 2, it says, Hear attentively the noise of his voice. And the sound that goeth out of his mouth. It's in reference to thunder. Psalm 18, verse 13. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice hailstones and coals of fire. Yep. John will.